<clears throat> Alright, in this video we're going to see how to graph a line using technology. And one of the things you're going to have to do is graph using the My Math Grapher. So let's take a look at that real quick. So on these all these problems, the draw mode is set for the straight line, which is the one you're going to do. And you're basically going to want to follow the methodology for sketching a graph by hand and then once you have that you'll have a line with two points um, then you're going to come here and you can just use this pencil put the first point down and then move to where the second point is in this case you could go here and then click again these are just left clicks so left click once at your first point then move to your second point left click again and then hit submit Right. So to know where those two points are, you just follow the methodology for sketching a graph. Now, in the application, you're going to have to do a research, sorry, presentation graph. And well, the software I'm going to recommend for that, you could use Excel or something like that, but um, we're going to use the Desmos graphing calculator. It's a free online graphing calculator. So go to desmos.com, start graphing. And go ahead and put the equation in here. So the equation I'm going to do first is 3x minus 2y equals 9. And you see that it instantly graphs it. You can then move the window around. If you didn't like the window, you can drag and drop or scroll on the mouse to zoom in. Um, one of the things you're going to want to do is locate the intercepts on the graph. And so if you just go over to the intercept, you can click on that. And that'll make sure that those appear when you export the image later. So we'll do that with the X and Y intercepts. And the other thing I'm going to do is label the axes. And that's by going up to the graph settings, you can actually change where you want the graph to start and stop. So if I want it to go from... I want it to go from negative 5 to 8 by steps of 1, and then negative 6 to 6. And I can have that be the window. Um, you can put labels on here, so it can just be x and y. You can see the x and y appear there. Uh, if you have different variables, maybe you have t and v, right? You could put t and v there. And you want to put units, so maybe t is time and it's measured in years, and maybe v is value and it's measured in dollars. You could put the dollar symbol or type dollars. I see they're now labeled the axes. Alright, the graph looks pretty good, right? Now we're ready to um, export it or save it. So in order to do that, you're going to need to sign in I mean, when you normally pull up this website, you probably get the account thing here. And what you want to do is click on sign in and just sign in with a Google account. Everybody should have a Google account associated with their um, college email address. So you use that, it'll log you right in. Now you have the option to share the graph. So share the graph, click on image. And this is now the image we can share, so if we just click on that, it should automatically download it. And there's now a file. And you can open that file, and you can save that wherever you want. So maybe just save this. On the desktop. And uh, you're going to want it to be a JPEG or a PNG. So now it's saved there, and then later on I can upload that file to the assignment. Um, let's take a look at one more example. Say I had a y equals 400x. You notice that we need to go 
back to x and y here. Notice that with the normal window that we aren't able to actually see this. It looks like a vertical line, but it's not, and that's because it's got a very steep slope. So uh, one thing we can do here is adjust the viewing window so we need to probably keep the x-axis pretty small so negative 1 to 3 and then we need to make the y-axis really big so negative negative 1,000 to 1,000 and go by I don't know, 100 So now we have a nice good graph for that. And this one goes through the origin, so the only intercept is the origin as an x and y intercept. And you can go through the same process to export that as an image if you needed to.